Hi, we're Brandon and Christine, and for the first six months of 2022, we lived and traveled in our self-converted van. But new adventures were calling, so we decided to pack her up and head out on a backpacking journey that will take us across the world. We are now in the final month of our backpacking trip exploring the beautiful country of Japan. After spending a few days immersing ourselves in the culture, we are ready to try some of the things that make Japan so unique. Today we are going to take you along with us as we play real life Mario Kart through Osaka, explore some history, and of course, Try some new and delicious Japanese cuisine. We have made it to our first activity of the day. We are starting it off with some go-karting through the city of Osaka, hopefully dressed up like Mario characters. I'm so excited. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous to be driving one of those things around, but looks like fun. Can't wait. Without further ado, let's get I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Pikachu today. <laughs> oh. Is re which way is brake? Which way is go? Which way is right foot is go? So left foot is brake? Yeah, left foot is brake. You should probably know that I watched the video, but there was a lot of information. Driving through the city right now, so lots of stops at the red lights, but this is like one of the coolest experiences ever. Everyone is taking pictures of us, waving at us, talking to us. They love that I'm dressed as Pikachu. <laughs> what, a, what a cool experience. <laughs> Somebody said out there you had to high five me, and then I did that, but then I ran a bunch of the pavements as well. I guess I need two hands on the wheel at all times. behind me and no I wasn't Christine. Gotta drive careful. <laughs> you come in so slow it's so funny. Oh, we made it back in one piece. So much fun. Oh my goodness that was so much fun. Highly 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 recommend. I'm so happy that we ended up dressing up because when we got there they were like oh it's too hot for the costumes too hot for the costumes today but Honestly, we were not sweating at all. You're going so fast on those go-karts, so so much wind. It was very comfortable and so much fun. People were taking pictures of us. I felt like a little celebrity. It was just such a cool experience driving through the city and we got to see other parts of the city that we haven't seen yet, so really cool and highly, highly, highly recommend. But we are starving per usual. We have not eaten much today, so we are gonna go and find some food. So on our way to the go-karts, we walked past this community food hall and we decided to give it a chance. So we just ordered our lunch. We're just waiting for it to get prepared and then we're gonna dig in. Look what we ordered. 
Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So worth the extra 200 yen. We miss her so much. Only a couple more weeks until we see her. It smells really good. So we ordered like a lunch special at one of the places. It came with some shrimp tempura, some veggie tempura, and then it came with hot soba noodles, which we've never had, but smells amazing. And then a little hunk of tofu, and then of course rice. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. That lunch was really tasty and that hops coffee, while it was super adorable, it wasn't the greatest coffee we've had in the world, definitely very bitter despite all of the cream on top for the picture, but it was still super cute and we're really happy that we got it. So now that we're all fueled up, we're gonna head to our next spot here in Osaka to explore there. So it's been pretty easy using the subway and train system here in Osaka, but the one part that always kind of trips me up at the end is there's obviously the subways are going both directions and you have to figure out which way you're going. And Christine was right this time, but I didn't know. She was about to jump on. I said, no, wait, I don't know which way to go. And it was the right way. So now she's mad at me. Sometimes I do know what I'm talking about. That's all right. It should be here. Another one should be here in just a few minutes. the subway here it's super easy honestly you're a little bit nervous because we saw things online like oh it's really hard to read the ticket machines everything's in Japanese but everything's in English too and as long as you look up the route that you want to take ahead of time it's super easy so no complaints here Christine is always looking to capitalize on the red light green light lane maneuvering she will sprint across to get to the other one when it changes. She's like a whole new person. I get a burst of energy when I see the green walking man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go for it. It's so orderly here. People do not walk if it's red. Even if there's no cars going, they will not walk across the street. So it's like you have to sit there and wait even if you could safely cross the street. So anytime I see a green man that says that we can cross, I'm looking for this one here, I go. go up inside of Osaka Castle, but unfortunately we're not going to be doing that today because it is 4 o'clock and it closes at 5 and there's a massive line to get in. So we don't want to pay the 500 yen to get in, to walk around for a half hour and then have to leave right away. So I think we're going to pass on that today, so just going to walk around the grounds. <laughs> So like Christine said, it's been absolutely breathtaking. So beautiful. The architecture is amazing. But we are really tired. It's been a long day with the adrenaline rush of go-karting through the city and then all the walking around. So I think we're gonna head back to our hotel for a bit, kind of relax, recharge our batteries, and then we're gonna come back out later and show you one more thing today.
So it has been a couple hours and as you can see it is now dark outside and, and now we are feeling refreshed after hanging out in our hotel room for a little bit. But now we are heading to a famous walking and food street here in downtown Osaka and cannot wait to show you guys this place because this place is awesome. during the day. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I, it doesn't move. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so we have officially made it to the street and it is not as crowded as we were expecting it to be. Last time we came here it was Saturday night so it was crazy busy and a lot of fun and now it's a Tuesday night but it's still really cool to come and see. There's still a bunch of food stalls, there's restaurants, there's anything you could really want honestly. So I think we're gonna run around and try a bunch of new food. so good though all the food stalls and everything looks amazing smells amazing we are super excited to try some food so we have come to this restaurant to try something that we've been wanting to try since being in Japan and it is called Okonomiyaki I think hopefully I'm pronouncing that right we looked it up beforehand but it's basically like a Japanese pancake and we got the one with pork and egg in it and then I believe it also has a bunch of seasonings green onions it has a couple different kinds of sauces on top including Japanese mayo and it looks to die for I cannot wait to die for. I don't know if I'm gonna eat this with chopsticks but we'll give it a try it basically fell apart but That is a lot of different flavors and it's really, really good. I really like it. Basically tastes almost like an omelet in a way because it's made with egg, but then the pork is really good. That sauce on top, it almost tastes kind of like a barbecue-ish sauce, but really good. You can taste the green onions. There's so many flavors and it's soft and it's hot, but not too hot. It is really good. I really, really like this. That was so incredible. We both want another one, but we have too many other foods to try tonight, so we will have to pass on getting a second one, but we will be back here before we leave, for sure, because that was incredible. All right, just, just one. one. All right. Arigato. So after that amazing savory dish, we wanted to get something sweet, and I've been seeing all these melon bread stands everywhere, so we had to get one. It smells really good. It smells like this buttered warm bread. There's definitely like some sugar on top. And then we went with the cherry blossom with the cherry leaves ice cream. This cherry ice cream sounds amazing. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. That might be one of the best things I've ever tasted. It is so creamy. It has this almost like cinnamon aftertaste to it also. The bread just falls apart. This is this is so good. My turn to give it a try. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so good. Like Brennan said. Oh my gosh, that's the best ice cream sandwich I've ever had for sure. So good. another one <laughs> I think we don't need to try any other food let's get another one of the okonomiyaki and another one of these yes <laughs> those two are so good we're killing it tonight with the food we're trying so another thing that we've been wanting to try since being here in Japan is crab and we ended up going with this grilled crab leg we thought it was just regular crab it turns out it's imitation crab but that's all right I'm sure it'll still be delicious 
and can't wait to try it. It also comes with this like sauce. I'm guessing it's some sort of butter or maybe even um, Japanese mayo, but I'm gonna dunk it in there. And give it a try. If you've ever had imitation crab, it tastes exactly like that, except just warmed up. It has a little bit of like a crust on it because it was grilled. Really good. The mayo with it is also really good as well. Really enjoy this. So we are all done exploring for the day. That was so much fun. We had an incredible day, obviously, go-karting through the city, trying all that amazing food. It really was an awesome day. But we do have one more thing planned for tomorrow, so we'll catch you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's not really the morning anymore. It's actually the afternoon. But today is actually our last day in Osaka, and we're really sad about it. We absolutely love this city, but we do have one more fun thing planned. We have actually taken the subway about an hour outside of the city. Come and see this one last thing. Can you smell that? It smells like ramen. <laughs> Osaka is at the Cup Noodle Museum and I'm so excited because I love instant ramen and what better way to see all the instant ramen in Japan than at the museum. Here we have the first ever bag of instant ramen from 1958 and this whole wall goes all the way till today and it shows the evolution of all the different types of ramen, the different flavors and everything. It's been really cool to look at. I can't believe how many different kinds of ramen there are. It's crazy. And like, it's changed so much over the years. I mean, it started with just like one or two at the beginning, and now like it's this whole like ceiling and entire walls completely filled once you get closer to today. It's so cool. Like, I had no idea. So this wraps up our time here in Osaka, and oh my goodness, did we have a blast exploring the city. Yeah, we had so much fun here in Osaka, and we have so many more activities planned here in Japan. We really do have a jam-packed schedule the next couple of weeks. So until our next video, we'll see you on the road.